key to changing mailbox locks is not the key. You take the key out and you can take off the lock without breaking the lock. If you leave the key in there, it'll twist the lock and mess up your pins and everything. So what you gotta do is take off the key. Then you can undo the bolt. Twist it out, pull this down, and then you can take out the latch. Nice and easy, but kind of need two hands. Right, here we go. Got the bolt pulled off. Now we can pull the latch off, pull the bolt off, and change it with another one. What I like to do is trade two of them, and then trade the keys, and then just trade the whole set of keys. Makes it real easy. Reaching two locks in one deal. And by doing two at the same time, then you don't have to mess with repinning, re or you can just take the set of key clips from one unit, switch it to another one, and that way you're not having to repin any of the locks. You're just swapping the locks themselves, or if you have a smart key, you're just re smart keying both sets of locks but switching the units. Kind of nice, easy way to do it. The lock I swapped it with, just insert the new lock. The clip back in underneath. There we go. Put the deal back on. Same place that we position that we got it going. Tighten this all down without the key. There we go. And now it's got a new key to operate it. Nice and easy. And this I can just swap the tag, swap this key, set of keys with the other key as I leave smart key and the rest of the keys. Easy way to do it. When I swapped it with, I'll get it tighten the neck there. I thought I'd do a voiceover on this in case the audio wasn't very clear. The key to re-keying mailbox locks without damaging the locks is to take the key out first and then that way you can change the locks. I found this out the hard way. First couple ones I did I accidentally left the key in there or didn't really know what I was doing and left the key in and then tried to take the washer off here or take the nut off here. It's got a very strong locking nut and uh, what it did was twist the inner portion of the lock and ruin the locks. So I called the mailbox lock company and uh, to find out what was the proper way to change these. And the way to do it is take the key out. Then you can remove the nut, that's the easiest way, and then the little locking mechanism, the latch, and then the keeper that holds it in, and then you can swap locks or, or change locks. The easiest way I find is when I have a couple units to change locks on is to swap the keys from both units, both the door locks, the mailbox locks, swap them, swap them all, and then I can swap the tag keys as well. It makes it nice and easy and knocks out two two things in one shot. So it's uh, just a nice, convenient way to do it. I have smart keys, so sometimes I'll wind up. I, I still want to make sure that the keys get changed. But so I'll swap and I'll just use the smart key to, to rekey the lock so I don't have to change the whole locks. But when I used to have regular locks, the way to do it is just to change the lock sets. And, and it still uh, is a lot easier than rekeying locks. Uh, you can repin the locks, it's not too bad. I have videos on that as well. But it's nice, you know, when you have a couple units anyway, they, they all need locks changed. and just swapping them is a nice easy way. You can change the tags, change the whole thing. It makes it much easier to keep track of. And if you've done it before, you'll know what I mean. Because <laughs> uh, it can be a, a, a bit of a mind mess when you go to change uh, keys and change locks. But d doing it this way, changing the whole tag, changing the whole set, makes it much easier. Thank mm -hmm. you.